Ever wonder why a lot of mobile home ads start out with the phrase cash buyers only? Well, there's a reason for that and I'm going to explain it to you. So stick around. I'm going to show you some alternatives to getting you some extra cash to purchase your mobile home. Hi there everybody, it's Roy and Lily from Four Star Homes. Hey, you know, about 95% of the homes that we sell are done on a cash only basis, but there always seems to be a few people who need to get financing. Now, before I even get into this, I just want to explain something. If you're buying a mobile home on land lease, okay, where you pay a lot rent every month, you cannot get standard mortgages such as uh, FHA or VA or any of those because of the fact that mobile homes on land leases are considered to be property, not real estate. So the question I get asked quite frequently is, can you still get financing on these homes? And the answer is yes. Unfortunately, it's a horrendous, it, it's just a horrendous game okay that you have to play with these companies and i refer to them as banks x y and z because i do have several companies that you know banks and financial institutions that will finance the mobile homes but let me tell you when somebody tells me that they have to get financing i just cringe at the thought it's absolutely horrible uh, the reason being is because they make you jump through so many hoops. You know, you go ahead online and you type in your information and they say you're approved. And as you proceed, then all of a sudden they send you this long laundry list, checklist of things that need to be done. And it's just one thing after another. Not only that, but you have to have an appraisal done. Then you have to have a home inspection done. I mean, the list is never ending. Sometimes just trying to get a loan on a manufactured home could take two, three, or four weeks. I've seen some people go through three or four different companies before they finally got an approval. It's just an absolutely horrendous process. Now so the reason you see homes marked cash sale only is because most sales on mobile homes are done strictly by cash. This results in a much quicker and easier sale. All agents and realtors know that trying to obtain long-term financing is a very frustrating and time-consuming process that many times just doesn't work out. As a result, they would rather wait for a cash buyer than to go through the extensive time and frustration of a buyer that needs to be financed. Now, if you're looking for a loan to finance the bulk of your mobile home, I'm saying like, for example, if you're looking at a $55,000 home and you need 50 grand, this video is not going to be for you. What this video is, is for people who might be have, they might have 40,000 and they're looking at a $50,000 home and they need an extra five, 10, 15, or possibly $20,000 like right now. This is the video that you want to watch because I'm going to show you different ways that you could get money without jumping through the 50 or 60 hoops that the banks XYZ are going to put you through. Now, I wasn't planning on going into detail about these uh, banks X, Y, and Z that offer the longer term finances for the higher amounts, but I just wanted to show you a few things about them so you know what to expect if you decide to go this route. The first company I'm looking at here is 21st Mortgage Corporation. And again, I'm going to put this link and all the links to everything that I'm talking about at the, in the description section, just so you know. So you could check this stuff out on your own. But anyway, they have a thing here. It's called Ready to Start Your Application. And here's a list of things that you need to have before you even start applying. And right here, they say, due to variables in price and site rent, we are not able to offer pre-qualifications. You're going to find this on almost all of these sites because of the fact that you can't get pre-qualified like you can do like on a standard FHA or VA loan, only because of the fact that the home itself and what you're going to be paying in lot rent is going to be part of the variables that they need to determine your qualifications for the loan. Now, if you notice, they don't post any type of uh, loan rates on here. Uh, what they do, though, is right here, they have a nice uh, question and answer section on credit guidelines. So if you're looking at uh, this particular website, you might want to give this a read. The second uh, bank X, Y, and Z company I have is the Triad Financial Services. And right over here, they have like seven simple steps in getting the loan. Uh, the one thing I noticed they are missing on there is when it comes time to do home inspections, home appraisals, all of that stuff. So a lot of stuff that these companies require generally aren't listed here in their short checklist. 
Now, I do like what this company here, uh, Nationwide Manufactured Home Loans, has done because they actually do post their rates, different terms, different down payments, different credit scores. So if you take a look at this, you can see that if you have a credit score of 740 or better, you're probably looking at an interest rate of 6.6% right in there, the high sixes, I would say. But now if you move down this long list of different programs they have available and get into more of a average credit rate or credit rating, let me see if I can find it here. Here we go. Okay. So now you could take a look that if your credit score is about 660 to 679, which is still actually considered to be good, but your interest rates are going to jump up into the nine. So here we have 9.27, 9.48, 9.73. 9 so the whole point I'm trying to make here is that I really don't think, even if you have excellent credit, that you're going to find any great bargains on interest rates on any of these companies. I'm going to excuse you from this video because this is part of the process that I personally handle with uh, with individuals. My wife does not. Uh, I mean, it took her three years to realize that the $740 lot rent that I pay every month is not a one time annual payment. <laughs> so if you don't mind. I'm going to go ahead and let you go off and do whatever you want to do. Is that OK? I just wanted to sit here and say hi. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> Okay, all right. All right, everybody. So I'm going to excuse her. Let's get started. I now, to start this process, we're only going to be using two websites for information. And the first one, and probably the most important, is going to be Credit Karma. Now, I'm sure most of you have heard of Credit Car Karma. They are a credit monitoring site. They are absolutely wonderful. I've been using them for as far back as I could possibly remember. And the nice thing about Credit Karma, absolutely free absolutely free. They actually make their money uh, off of the other companies that they sponsor through credit cards and loans and car insurance and all of that stuff there. But uh, as a result, you don't pay a single nickel to use this particular site. Now, if you're new to Credit Karma, it's very important that you set up your account and put in as much uh, personal information as they ask for. This is going to be very important because the more information that you put in, the more accurate the results are of the loans that we're going to be taking a look at. Now, if you're already a member of Credit Karma, it's important to double check that the information that's already in the system is currently up to date. All right, so after you get logged into Credit Karma, what you want to do is just scroll down a little bit. Look for this tab right here that says Personal Loans. You're going to want to click on that. So to protect some of my personal information, I already went and set the parameters of this loan up above there. Uh, so what I did is, let's say I'm interested in taking a look at a $20,000 loan, uh, and I told Credit Karma I'm interested in terms between 60 months, 72 months, and possibly 80 months. So I was presented with 72 different offers on here. Now, I'm looking at this and really I'm not too interested in the 84 or the 72 months. So I'm going to scroll down here a little bit, see what I could find in the 60 month. And right here, okay, upgrade, the company upgrade is going to show me a rate of 11.12% uh, for 60 months at a payment of $414. Now, this is one of the biggest reasons why you want to put in as much information in the credit karma as you can, because you could take a look, look up right here. It says, congrats, your chance of approval is outstanding. OK, but on this particular loan that I'm looking at, I'm getting the karma guarantee. They're saying that if I can't get approved for, for $20,000 through upgrade, they're going to go ahead and pay me $50 in my credit karma money account. Right now, I'm liking what I see about this company upgrade, but before I go ahead and take the offer, there's one more check I want to make, and that's where uh, the second website will come into play, and that website is NerdWallet, NerdWallet.com, and you want to make sure that you're looking into their category of personal loans. So once you're in there, what you want to do is just scroll down, okay, and look for the company upgrade. There it is right there, and if you move over here to where it says See Details, I got a lot more information, including qualifications as far as credit score, annual income, uh, number of accounts on my credit history. Plus, they show me a bunch of pros and they do show me a couple of cons on that. Okay, so if I'm happy with what I see, if I feel I meet the criteria, criteria there, then I can actually go back on here and accept the offer. All right, already I can hear somebody out there going, oh, 11.12% interest, that's absolutely horrendous. Let's talk about that for a moment. Well, first off, I just want to say 11% is half of what a credit card would charge you in interest if you were using a credit card, but we're not doing that, okay? 
let's go ahead and go back to Bank XYZ, okay, our, our standard financial institutions. Let's say that you wanted to take out the same $20,000 loan for a period of 15 years and they were giving you a much more attractive interest rate of say 8%, okay? Well, I did the math on this. If you were to go with upgrade at the end of the five years, you would have paid $5,852. Now, if you went with bank, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> XYZ, at the end of the same five year period, you were, would have already paid them $7,221. So just because an interest rate is a little bit more attractive or a little bit lower doesn't mean it's the best way to go. And not only that, but at the end of five years with Bank X, Y, and Z, you got 10 more years of interest payments to look forward to. Okay, number two, when you're working with these finance companies, these are what we call unsecured loans, okay? What does that mean? That means if you went with Bank XYZ, you would have to give them your title or titles to hold until the loan was paid off. They would stamp a lien on those titles. They hold them, you pay the loan off, then you get the titles. With these unsecured loans, there is no collateral involved, which means you get to keep your own titles. So that means, is, uh, for example, at the end of two years, if you wanted to sell the house, you can go ahead and sell the house without having to pay the loan off first and having the titles, because you already got the titles in your hand. So you sell the house, then you go and you pay off the balance of the loan. Okay, another nice thing about these loans is that depending on the size, okay, your smaller loans, like if you're looking at loans of $1,000 to say $7,500, those get funded very, very quickly. You could actually have the money in your bank account within two days. Now, most of these loans will take between two and seven days. So if you're looking at a twenty or $30,000 loan, well, obviously those particular companies are gonna require more information. So you may have to provide some uh, employment history or some uh, pay stubs or stuff like that, okay? But generally, two to seven days is what it takes to get these loans approved and have the money in your account, all right? And then the nice thing about it is everything is done electronically, which means that you're not gonna get a big wad of paper sent to your house for you to sign. There's no offices for you to go to visit. Everything is done right on their websites. It's all done electronically. You do electronic signatures, you push the button, money gets sent directly into your bank account. It's that simple. Now here's what I think is the best part of these unsecured loans. When you take these loans out, they don't care what you're using the money for, which means that, yeah, you could go ahead and use it toward the purchase of a mobile home, but they're not going to require any home inspections. They're not going to require any type of appraisals. None of that stuff that you would have to go through with banks X, Y, and Z are going to be required. So if you wanted to use that money toward moving expenses or miscellaneous expenses or for furniture, even if you wanted to use it toward a trip to the moon, you could go ahead and do so. Now, to summarize all of this, I just want to start out by saying that regardless of where you turn to in the secondary financial markets, you're not gonna find any real bargains and you have to understand why. Unsecured loans are like credit cards. They will always have higher interest rates than you might expect. This is because the companies that issue these loans are assuming 100% of the financial risk. These companies always have a higher than average default rate. That means that part of the interest that you pay is going to be used to help cover the losses on those defaults. Now, it's important though that you shop carefully because this is not a one size fits all situation. Find a loan that is best suited for you with a monthly payment that will not take bread off your table. Like always, I hope that you use our website at fourstarhomes.com when you're home shopping. Here you can view hundreds of homes located through Central Florida and along the famous Treasure Coast. So on behalf of Lily and myself, we wish you the best when you're house hunting and we hope to see you in Florida soon. Take care, everybody.